And the Biden administration is proposing the first major federal safety standard of its kind. If finalized, the measure would protect an estimated 36 million U.S. workers from injuries related to heat exposure while on the job. News for Jack's reporter Tiffany Salome explains this new federal proposal. It feels like a oven. After a Florida law banned local heat protections for outdoor workers, the Biden administration announced nationwide worker protections. You know, summer has just started already. Already, tens of millions of Americans are under heat warnings from record shattering temperatures. It's something that would benefit people like Keith McDougal, who works in carpentry under the hot Florida sun. I work outside, um, moving the material from out the house and inside. Yep. How hot does it get? Uh, it's pretty toasty outside. Our company, they make sure that we uh, take our breaks, uh, drink our water, make sure we have ice cold water. Um, you know, some people don't have that perk. The proposal is the nation's first ever federal standard establishing heat exposure requirements. Across the country, workers suffer heat stroke or even die just doing their jobs. This new rule will substantially reduce heat injuries, illnesses and deaths for over 36 million workers. Between 2011 and 2021, 436 workers died due to extreme heat exposure, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. If finalized, the proposal would require employers to provide access to shade and water when the heat index reaches 80 degrees or higher. When the heat index reaches 90 degrees, employers would be required to provide 15 minute rest breaks every two hours and monitor their workers for symptoms of heat illness. So this will be an important protection for private employees and hopefully will contribute to a much safer working environment. Local attorney Alex Underkoffler explains that the proposal comes from the Department of Labor's Occupational Safety and Health Administration, which means there will be a lengthy approval process. Before the rule can be finalized, it would be posted in the Federal Register starting a public comment period. There could be lawsuits filed to try to enjoin the rule from going into effect, so there's a lot up in the air. It's certainly not going to be an immediate change or one that workers will see this summer, but maybe next summer we'll see it go into effect. Tiffany Salome, Channel 4, the local station.